All right, let's get into the word straight away. And I, I believe God has a word for us, and we will get to know that. Amen. Well, open your Bibles to 1 Corinthians chapter 6. And since you have your Bibles, I will not elaborate on that. Our name is Pena. Jada kuch bole. And let's just open to. Just have my volume a little low, please, if you can. So we are. All right. Okay. 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 9. Hey, up your Bible, make it. 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 9. All right. No. Padi jai na? Let's read. Know he not that unrighteousness shall not inherit the kingdom of God. Be not deceived, neither fornicators. I'm wanting to understand that when you talk about the dharmikta, when it's talking about unrighteousness, this is doing wrong. Did you know that unrighteousness is doing wrong? I just see you. I remember I saw you in the supermarket. My apologies. I... I, I no, I saw you people. I said I've seen these people somewhere. You people don't have to think I'm talking. <laughs> you know, it's interesting. I see a lot of people. And just on Friday, uh, Friday when there was a uh, service uh, going on. And so Doreen and I, uh, the youth service in Kinoya. So Doreen and I had a, I said, we are alone today. Let's go to the supermarket. <laughs> so Doreen and I are walking in the supermarket. She's looking at something. And this brother says, Praise the Lord, Padri. I say, okay, amen. I got, I tell you, I have no clue who this brother was. <laughs> and, and the wife was there. I say, she said, uh, brother, I say, I'm right, sister. I'm not going to say, I'm not going to say, I'm not going to say, they were just passing by. I'm not going to say, oh, praise the Lord. <laughs> thank, thank you, you are not part of the church. <laughs> you know, no, sometimes, my apologies, I see a lot of people, it, sometimes I forget, not all the time. Amen. <laughs> Let's go on. Some of you are thinking, what's happening? It's none of your business. Let's read the Bible. <laughs> okay. Where are we? 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 9. Where is verse 9? Here. Know he not that unrighteousness or doers of wrong shall not inherit the kingdom of God. As a believer, you have an inheritance. As a child of God, and God is your father, this father has inheritance for you. See, God is our father. And a good man lays good inheritance for his children's children. How many of you understand that? Because Parmeshwar Pita hai, wo apne bacho ke liye ek bohot se acha. What you call inheritance in English? In Hindi. What is? What is ne? What inherita hai? Uto what is? Jaidad. Woo! Praise the Lord. Ek 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 ek. Jaidat sake bole, but Jaidat bole bada word hai na. Tumha liye kuch rakhi se, jiske uske mare ke baad tum sakta hasil kare. But God doesn't have to die to be an inheritor. God can live and you can live and inherit. See, lot of people are saying, when I die and go to heaven, I'm going to have the blessing. Too late. The blessing of God you can experience here on earth. Hello, Masa, how are you? I'm seeing, you know, you see a lot of people after a long time, you want to say hello to them. Amen. Let's keep going. So, so here it says, unrighteousness cannot be inheriting. Come on, understand with me. If you are unrighteous, you can't be an inheritor of the blessing. Only, how can, like we were, is kon gana mugatara? Pavitra, Ishu, Nam, what is that? No, no, that's just the chorus part. Ishu tu pavitre. Tu pavitre. Ishu tu pavitre. You know what I was thinking? Many people can say, Jesus, you are holy. But if Jesus is to live in your heart, you have to be holy. And since he is living in my heart, my spirit, I am holy. You know, Jesus said, be he holy even as your heavenly father is holy. Now, if the Heavenly Father is in my heart, not in my flesh, not in my mind, in my heart, the part that gets saved is your heart, not your soul, not your body. You are not saved in your body yet. That's why when Jesus will come from heaven, your bodies will be saved. And then mortality will put on immortality. Ye maranhar shari jab issue aega, amarta ko pehen lega. 
It's going to happen, people. I'm telling you. Right now, you're saying, what's happening in my life? Something good. Get ready. You know, get ready. You, I'm not only waiting when he will come, I will change. I'm already renewing my mind to, to think what will happen when he comes. Amen. Amen. So I just want to think like this. We think Jesus is holy, but that holy Jesus has made you holy. Are you holy? Yes. See, you, you will tell me you are holy or not holy based on what you are doing and thinking. Yes. And that is the wrong way of living. You are not supposed to live by what you... See, you're not supposed to be living by what you are doing. You are supposed to be living by faith in what you are doing. It takes a while to get this. But I tell you, when you get this, your life will be superman. And I just said there's a superwoman coming up. I don't know all these supers coming up. But all I know is, it is, it, so you know, when I say superman, I'm not looking at the S. I'm looking at the J. Jesus. See, I'm looking at the spirit being super. Giving strength to my physical body. I tell you, up log. Sharir nahi hai, aap log atma hai. You understand that? You might be weak in your flesh, but if your spirit is controlling your body, your body cannot be sick very long. If your spirit is controlling your mind, your mind cannot think weakness, sickness, disease, and pain, and anger, because that's where your emotions are. People are defeated because as Christians, we are living by feeling rather than living by faith. And faith is calling yourself what? What God says you are. Amen. I'll say that again. Vishwas wo hai, bolna jo parmeshwar aapke vishay mein bolta hai. See, we are saying what we feel like. You can't do that because you don't live by feeling. So what does faith say? Faith says you are blessed. Faith says what God says. So what you are saying? Well, well I'm not holy. Oh, are you saved? Yes. Do you believe in Jesus? Yes. Has Jesus come in your heart? Yes. But but, but, but brother, but I'm doing wrong. Your doing can change if you live by faith. Now you understand? So l l let me see if you can answer this without any thought. Are you holy? Yes. Because if you say you are not and you are a believer of Jesus and Jesus has washed you clean in your spirit and you say I'm not holy, guess what? You are basing your statement on your feeling your soul. And that's where I will show you, you are always going to be defeated. Jab tak tum apan vichar ke sunega, apan dimaag ke, apan gyan ke, aur uske nahi sunega jon vishwas bole, you'll always keep defeated. Because see, we don't live by feelings, we live by faith. And what is faith? Faith is everything God said. Amen. <laughs> it's simple. You know what is faith? What God said. See, many things God says, it doesn't, you can't see it. How many of you have seen Jesus? None of you. But is he alive and true? Yes. History proves. It even, even the history didn't prove. I felt him. I know him. I believe him. He's real to me. How many of you have seen heaven? None of you. But you believe in heaven, don't you? And what is that called? Faith. What you can't see, you need faith. What you can see, you don't need faith. So what is your faith? Jesus is alive. What is my faith? There is a heaven to gain. Amen. All right. So we live by faith. And what is faith? Everything God said. Amen. If God said you are healed, praise God. Hallelujah. I don't care how I feel <laughs> and how much of temperature is going up and down. I am healed because God's word says so. See, I tell you the problem with us is we listen and we live too much listening to what you feel. And that's why most people are too weak because they care. Oh, how's the day today? Who <laughs> garam they, they respond based on what they feel. And it's not bad, I understand. I sometimes say, well, it, it, we need aircon or something. Or when it's too cold, I'm going to Jesse Penny. See, that's all right. But I'm saying, how many times are you saying that thing? Because did you know your body reacts to the thing you are saying a lot? Yes. Brother Copeland does one thing. He always tells people, okay, he just shows this as an example. I'm a one to ten guinea. They say, I'll, Simon says, can we kill us? Simon says. Not brother Simon says. How I many of you prayed Simon says? Simon says, put your hands up. Simon says, put your hands up. Oh, put your hands up. 
But if you put your hands up without Simon Says, you're out. Okay. For example, if I, Brian Says, <laughs> this is me, whatever I say, you do, right? Brian Says, in your mind, in your mind, don't speak it. Brian Says, in your mind, count one to ten. Go. Brian Says, stop and tell me your name. Brian says, stop and tell me your name. Say, so, no, every, every, most of you are out. <laughs> See, if I say, I should do Simon. Okay, let's do it again. Simon, you people are used to Simon. See, you can't renew your mind. <laughs> Simon says, in your mind, t- count one to ten. Simon says, stop that and tell me your name. Yeah. See, people are unrenewed people. <laughs> See, I can't change one. Now you're telling me your name. What happened to your counting? Why? Because when you open your mouth, your brain will stop to listen. Your senses are made like that. See, when bad thoughts come, you should start saying something. When you start saying, that thought will stop to listen to what you say. But if you do not change the, the thought with, uh, do not change your, your thought with your word, your thought will come back when you keep quiet. I'll show you. Eleven o'clock. Husband used to be always here at seven, six o'clock. Where is he? I'm calling, not picking up the phone, ringing, he missed call, recall, redial, redial, message, where are you? Where everything, Faber, everything, not calling, calling the friend, everybody, where is this guy? Wait, let him come home. And I don't know, ah, no, 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 all the devils putting the thought, I think he's drinking. Now, PN, see, now you, you're going to, now PN is okay. See, you, you are using your words to feed your thoughts. No, PN is a kid. See, you know what you're doing? You're feeding. You're feeding. Now we say, Kay, Kamala, let's get those kids. Yeah, boy, no, 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 no. Let's get some kids. You know what you're doing? You, you are thinking and you are speaking. Now, 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 let me do this. You want peace? You want peace? This is how you get the, this is how a faith man lives. It's 11, you found out, you called, did, did, you called once, found out he's gone out to, for work, okay. Your thought is coming. Bainiala, sister, dakka. You know, as soon as those thoughts come, this is what you do. The thoughts coming, you say, your spirit rises up. Father, I thank you. Now, mind, I know you are giving me this thought. See, you speak to yourself. Say, speak to yourself. See, you know the thoughts are coming there, but you speak to yourself. Say, Lord, you said, a thousand shall fall at my side and ten thousand. No evil will come to my husband. He is well taken care of. There is no temptation that is coming to you, him. And I thank you, Lord, it is well in this household. Praise God. Hallelujah. When you say faith, your mind stops thinking that way. The problem is we add wood to the pyre. And the pyre becomes big. And by the time he started, and, and he, nobody knows, you don't know, his, both the tires of the car was punctured. Before he, he just comes into the house, knock, knock. Kara! And all the story. <laughs> Instead of walking in the fruit of the spirit and just opening the door and say, it's okay, everything? Okay, praise the Lord. Okay, so, uh, how was the day? If something happens, see, instead of peace and love, 500 calls, no answer. No. See, you know why we are defeated? No, I'm telling you. You want to know why we are defeated? We live by feelings. We want every call to be taken. We want every, uh, everything to be liked. And if it's not liked, socially accepted, I don't want to like you anymore. I don't want to Facebook you anymore. I don't want to say happy birthday because you forgot my happy birthday. You never send me a candle and say happy birthday. See, I tell you, your, your emotions are getting the best of you. I don't care you live in the 21st century or you just born yesterday. Most people just want to be loved. It's okay. You are loved by God. Amen. So let's get out of it and live by faith. Why did I ever say that? Let's come back here. So, let's read some scripture, right? Be not deceived. You know where we are, right? 1 yes. Corinthians chapter 6, verse 9. Be not deceived. See, to inherit what God gives you, you have to live it out by faith. 
So it says adulterers, idolaters, infeminate, uh, uh, abusers of themselves, with mankind, no thieves, no covetous, no drunkard, no revelers, no extortioners shall have inheritance in the kingdom of God. Say, Mr. P. Pastor say, Dekha, tum log dalu pita, tum log aise karta, tum log kabhi waris nahi banega. You know, who becomes an inheritor? Say, a son. A son. I don't know whether you understand it, what I just said. You, if you are born in a family and the will is written out, by the right of being born, you have inheritance. Amen. How many of you understood that? It doesn't matter what you are messing around with. Now, I, I, this is where we go to the other end. Most people think God won't heal me because I haven't been going to church. Where did God ever say that? Ouch. Well, God won't uh, bless me because I did not tithe. No, tithing is what the righteous people do. You sow seed, you reap a harvest. But did you know God is not dependent on you giving and not giving for him to give because he is already a giving God. And if you are stuck, he will still give, help you out. Amen. See, most people put a curse on you saying, See, you didn't give up to me. You have financial pressure because you tithe. I understand the devil used your non-tithing to stop your blessing. But God is not stopping his blessing because you are not tithing. If you repent, he'll allow the blessing to come anyway. But, oh, so praise the Lord, brother. Now I'm not going to tithe. Uh -huh. <laughs> not like that. See, if you stop giving, you stop the reservoir of harvest. How many of you understand that? Okay, let's keep going. So because I am born into the kingdom, because God is my father, I am already an inheritor of the promises of God. Say, I have an inheritance. Pray you get it. But look at this. Verse 11. And such were some of you, but he are washed. You are sanctified. Who made holy. But now you are justified, made righteous in the name of the Lord Jesus and by the Spirit of God. Now, this is where I wanted us to come. You are ready? Verse 12. Marker, highlighter, star, cross, whatever you want to put. You know, I like to always go against the norm, you know. Every time people used to put star, ostrich, or what, ostrich, or hash, ostrich, or whatever ostrich that is. Uh, but when I, I just found out, what's the, I want to be always creative. You have to be creative, right? So I said, why not use a cross? So I just put a long line and a cross. I said, that's a good marker. Don't copy, okay? Okay. All things are lawful unto me. What is Paul saying here? You know, nothing is ca causing me to become a non-believer. All things are lawful. I can do many things, but not all things are beneficial or expedient for me. All things are lawful for me, but I will not be brought. Mark this one. Read, everybody. I will not be brought under the... I will not be brought under the power of any. Okay, Amplified. You know what Amplified says? Everything is lawful for me, but I will not become a slave of anything. See, you committing adultery will not take you to hell, but you committing adultery will make you a slave of adultery. You as a believer and a son of God being made righteous will not miss heaven because you go and covet, covet somebody's cow or, have, or, or are a thief. You are only thieving. Because you are not renewing your mind. Oh, man. How many of you understand? Because you are not saved by works. You are saved by faith in Jesus. But that faith can be seen because you, I tell you, are carnal. You are not renewing your mind of who you are on the inside. How many of you just understood that I just said? Some people say, Ooh, But I tell you, everyone who does unrighteousness is a slave to sin. I don't want to be a slave to sin. I mean, I've come out of being a slave. Why do I want to, I want to go back to be a slave? But, but brother, 
अचानक से हमें दिल करे हवा फूको क्योंकि समझ है इसका जिमिल करता है निकोटीन तो है ना इसमें कौन जी रहे इसमें निकोटीन रहे हाँ and, and you, you know what 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 just happened see every temptation has a trigger did you know that every temptation has a trigger i mean it's been a long time you've had some nice halwa oh it's been a long time you've eaten some nice puri or dalbari roti i mean full of uh, dal in there i mean thick nice mm, man, with with <coughs> praise god <laughs> So 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 you you know you should not overeat but because you taste and, and your taste buds start you know it's sal you know sub saliva and then you eat and you eat and until who ab hum load ke nahi khayenge ek saal I've heard people say that after they overeat they say now one year I'm not going to eat this you could have, you know why you couldn't hold yourself no I just couldn't hold myself you can't hold yourself but you just gave in to that gluttony did you know over abusing your body is gluttony have you ever heard of that what is in the bible gluttony lenses lenses or something like that ek word hai wahan pe it's a long word some some words are a little bigger for me no you are unable to control like for example uh most people i'm telling you they just don't know how to control their anger they say This is so and then they oh realize that they should not have done that it's not your anger problem it's just you don't have enough peace of god scriptures in you this this is the problem see we say dekha gussa la person that's not a gussa la person it's the they have trained themselves like that you can untrain anybody man you can untrain your mind see we think it's impossible god says listen to me Most people know this scripture. All things are possible with God. I can do, I can do all things that are possible with God. But what do you do? Nothing. You do nothing. That's why those things are not going. See, I can do. Then what are you doing? So you do. As Christians who are made righteous, you have to do something. You are not saved by doing but now you are saved start doing Come on let's say this again You are not saved by your doing but since you are saved now start doing What do we supposed to start doing the only thing you are supposed to do renew your mind that's the only thing God asks you to do renew your mind take God's word put it in your eyes put it in your ears and start speaking it as if it is true what do you speak i am saved by the blood of jesus i am righteous i have, have addictions of nothing i am bound and a slave to nothing all the things that were written infinite uh, idolatry adultery you are not slave to that praise god i am have, have victory and even though you are still doing it keep saying it Amen. see the way out of your problem is by saying that you have what you do not yet have Amen. now that doesn't make sense right I just we were just singing a song God says in the book of Micah let the wait wait look at the irony right let the do what say what say what i'm weak who is saying that god what is god saying let the weak say i'm strong why because then you will be made strong let the poor say i'm poor no See the way out of your problem is saying what God said for you to see God said say yes amen I lack wisdom don't you say I lack wisdom because Jesus is being made wisdom to you so you say I have the wisdom of God concerning this situation your mind is blank don't stop and feel start continue to say to me said answer nahi mila but don't change what you see keep saying because faith is the creative the key to the creative power of god from your mouth amen see ab janta jo vishwas ke chabi hai see you need healing in your body which is in your spirit but needs to manifest in your body see did you know you are fully healed in your spirit you can never be sick in your spirit again 
But my body is still broken down. You know why? Because I am living in a sinful world. The world is decaying and dying. That's why as I con interact with the world, my body is affected by the wind, by the intake of oxygen. You know, the oxygen level and the pressure level of the earth is gone really down. Not because of climate change, but because of sin. Praise God. That's true. <laughs> Not because of climate change, the waters are... No, no, no. no. They, 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 people have... See, in the beginning they said, you know, anybody knows Al Gore? Al Gore? And what do you know? <laughs> this, uh, this, one, this guy used to be a preacher of global warming and he said the earth will be 2012, everything will be gone. That's why they made the 2012 movie. He, he was saying, he was advertising, he was a preacher of global warming and everything. You know, it's interesting. First it was global warming. No, it was global cooling. Did you go and study that? Global cooling, then they went to global warming. Now, because global warming, global cooling, they were like in overseas. Now they are saying climate change. <laughs> Have you seen? I don't know what you're listening to. Anyway, <clears throat> let's get out of there. So, say, I will not be a slave, not be a slave to, my to my feelings. Now, think about that. It says they are fornicator in the flesh. You commit sin in the flesh. Idolatra with the body. I, uh, I, I, idolatra with the body. Infinite abuser of yourself, abuser of mankind, covetous, thieves, drunkards, revelers. What? How do you do all this sin? With your body. How many of you understand that? But when you give to that, you are becoming a slave to sin. Go to Galatians chapter 5 verse 13. Write that down. Eh? Galatians chapter 5 verse 13. I'm there. Anybody? Pastor, let's remember to bring some lollies, lollies next week. Eh? Any person first, we're going to give you some lollies. It's called fast fingers. Anybody played that game, fast fingers? I had, a good, I had a small Bible. I used to wait for the pastor say, and I used to be, I used to be ready. I, I pray that you learn the books of the Bible. <laughs> you have the table of contents. Learn either one of that. You'll learn the Bible. You should test it. Who knows all the uh, New Testament books? Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John wrote a book that still lives. No, 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 that's not book of the Bible. That's a song. <laughs> Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, book of? X, then? Chapter 5, verse 13. 13 me po chaplo. Read. For brethren, he have been called into bondage or liberty. Freedom. Only, say only, use not liberty for an occasion to the flesh, but by love serve one another. Amplified. For you, brethren, were indeed called to freedom. Only do not let your freedom be an incentive to your flesh or an opportunity or excuse for selfishness. Don't become a slave to your freedom, man. I know you are righteous. You can do anything, but it will make you a slave. Did you know the devil wants you to live in your feelings? Because as long as you are living by your feelings, he is loading over you. Did you know the devil can stop your healing from manifesting? The devil can stop your finances from flowing? The devil can stop your favor as long as you are st still in the flesh. You know what is flesh? Living by emotions. Living by what you see. Faith people never live by what they see. I mean, you can have a big mountain, but Jesus looked at the mountain and said, we can remove this mountain. Amen. You can have, uh, your, your mountain could be your mother in <laughs> grace. Or your mother in law. Or your father in law. I, no matter what laws they are. Bylaws, in-laws, or outlaws. They are all, no, I'm not in the law, I'm in grace. Amen. As long as you are in grace, you are free, but don't allow your feelings. No, you know, let me ask you something. How many of you can see? Some of you are not sure. You can see? Yes. How many of you can see? You sure you can see? Yes. The issue is never what you see. The issue is what you are using to interpret your five senses. You say, oh, what did you say? What did you say? Let me tell you. When you see something, right? 
Your eyes only see. The eyes never interpret what they are seeing. What you have disciplined, the default that is said always works first. Your default was never supposed to be your soul, the unrenewed soul that is always negative and say, well, nothing is happening. Your default of what you see and hear and feel supposed to be your spirit. How many people understand that? For example, as soon as I saw somebody sick, I shouldn't be saying, no, no, you should be saying it's a good opportunity to pray. See, what did you do? You are not using your mind or your feeling. You are looking at the problem and you're speaking faith. As soon as you see the bill come in, calculate all your monthly income and expenditure. What are you doing? You are taking your eyes and speaking out of your mouth what you are thinking in your mind. You're not supposed to do that. You see with your eyes, but you use your spirit to interpret what you are seeing. My God, being a tither, will meet all my needs in Jesus' name. How many of you see what I'm saying? You see a doctor's report or you see your bank statement? It might be coming close to dollars in zero, zero, zero point. Zero five. Uh, you know, it, it could be coming close to that. But it, that's, you shouldn't be saying. You know, I've seen people go down. When they don't have much money, nothing is working. <laughs> hey, brother, chill it up here. No, no, no. No, no, no. Oh, broke here. Yeah. Indian ladies, put a kori bin here. I don't even have a broken shell in my... No, I think that's an olden version. I know the old ladies used to keep, uh, you know, the shells in their, uh, small shells in their purses. I, how many of you know great grandmothers? They used to keep because this is good charm, good luck charm. I don't believe in that. Anyway, let's go on. Don't be saying what you see. Say what you believe. Aplo samja? Wo mat kaho jo dikta hai, wo kaho jo parmeshwar ka vachan kehta hai aapke prasthiti ke vishay mein. Amen. So, so you are free, only don't use the freedom to become a slave of self. Be a slave of love. How you like that one? Don't become a slave of your selfishness. Become a slave of love. Let people be like Jesus. You know what Jesus said? Say, for example, I'm wearing a, a coat, a shirt, and inside another vest because it's cold, and inside that another vest, and some uh, probably thermal vest, okay? And somebody comes and says, brother, you only preachers, I'm feeling cold, you can't give me your coat. Okay, brother, I give you my coat. Hey, don't only take my coat, wait, take my shirt because I'm, I'm well taken care inside. I got some thermal stuff, I give you my shirt and my coat, be blessed, go. Not like that, huh, I will not give my coat. See. Always stay in the love side. Come on, tell your neighbor, love side. Anybody, you know, it's very easy for anybody to get angry here. Anybody, just like this. Offended anybody, it's like this. If you see a glass of water, I mean, many people have many opinions. I, I tell you how they see. For example, you see food. I don't know. Hey, No, you, you could be thinking a lot of things in one moment. For example, coming to church, like everybody comes to church, if there are 100 people here, which they are probably, and, and everybody has a different thought. It's too cold, too hot place, man, too much light. Somebody will say, it's very, oh, it's okay. See, everybody has a thought going right now. Some of you might be feeling, well, I should be going quickly home. Uh, did I close the fan or not at home? Did the aircon was still on? Did the stove gas was off? I don't know. I to, Monday I have to pay the bill. I have to be, see, you could be thinking a lot of things. But if you train your spirit... I'm trained your mind. I tell you, you have you you are somebody to watch because you're going somewhere. Because you 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 are never you like God. You know a person like God, they never change. You meet them on Monday morning, they are fired up and strong and happy. Like most church people on Monday, I don't know what they got on Monday. They get up late because they abuse. You know, I tell you, this is how people are abusers. They abuse their Saturday, so Sunday is never excitement. 
They abuse their Sunday night that they are Monday. You know, that's why Monday is bad. Because Sunday, they abuse it till late night. And then Monday, they want to be strong. Praise the Lord for that nice information for you. You know what? A righteous man lives by expectation. When they get up, they are excited. You know, every day is a, it's, it's a blessed day. You know who made the day? Who? Who? For this is the day that the Lord has made. Wait, think about it. Meditate. The Lord has made. Who made? The Lord has made. The Lord loads me with benefits every day. So in this day, there are benefits loaded. The day the Lord has made. The blessings of the Lord and the mercies are new every morning. So this day, the Lord has loaded with favors and grace and mercies and long suffering. My God, this is a good day. Amen. So how do you get up? They are both boring, Roger. The day is not boring. Your feeling is boring. You can change it in a minute. Give you a lottery winning ticket. I tell you, you'll jump. There you go. Abhi aap kya tum lottery, probably Monday morning, and then suddenly somebody says, yeah, motor gift hai tumha liya. He sache, sache, same time, Facebook, picture, selfie, everything, updated, you are happy. What happened? Your feeling, listen, your feeling, your joy, no, no, that's not joy. Your happiness was based on your happenings. No happening, no happy. What did Jesus give you? Happiness or joy? Joy is never found in the head. Joy is of the heart. Yes. I mean, you could be having the worst of situation. You, not that you have to laugh, but you are happy. You know everything will be all right. Amen. Say everything is going to be all right. Praise God. We didn't go even to the third verse yet. Let's go. Romans chapter 6 verse 13 now. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. What did I say where to go? Romans chapter 6, verse 13. Let's go. 2, 3. Neither yield or present he your members as? You, you know when you give your body to any walk of the enemy? You are righteous. Say, I'm righteous. And righteous men have righteous acts. It's when you do unrighteous acts, you are training your mind that you are unrighteous. You understand that? Regardless, you are righteous on the inside. You are righteous where? In the spirit. You are holy where? In the spirit. Which part of you is going to heaven? You, the spirit. What part is needing help? Soul. Your body is only an empty shell which does what your mind or your spirit is telling you. Before you got saved, your mind was only telling you you are doing. Now you are saved, your spirit is made alive. Now your conscience should be running your body. How I many of you see that? And you can only do that with a linking power called faith. Without faith, you can't do that. And faith can only walk. Let me, let me tell you. Faith can only walk empowered by love. I, I tell you, the greatest of all, the greatest of all the gifts of the Holy Spirit, the greatest of all the fruit of God is love. I tell you, I tell you, I tell you, if you just get into love, everything will be all right. Hmm. What is love? Love does not take account of what wrong has been done to them. To me, yade, last time to be say karara, you taking account, eh? You're not in love. Last time to bola ra mama bapak bare me, abhi fir tum bola, taking account of love. La, you know, this last time should be the last time. Come on, church. Forget about it. Well, I can't forget it. Hum kabhi nahi bulek jab tak hum jiye. See, you, 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 you are... 
pale hetum hatred you, you, you are growing hatred in, and, and don't grow that plant. It's got a lot of thorns. It will pain you as it grows. Love is the key to seeing God manifest in your life. Let, let, see, I'm not fighting anybody. I tell you, I'm not fighting anybody. You know why? You, you, keep quiet. <laughs> I'm not fighting anybody. You know why I'm not fighting anybody? Why? Because I'm not fighting flesh and blood. You're not my enemy. I know my enemy. There's only one enemy. is the devil. You, you know why people get offended with people? See, I know what's the problem with people. They are not renewed in their mind, so they won't understand what I'm saying in the spirit, so I don't fight them. I forgive. I, I, you know, I was an abuser of people. I, I was very angry, man. I was rebellious, and I know what rebellion is. Very dangerous, very selfish. I, that was a wrong spirit in me. I used to fight people, literally fight. I like to provoke people to fight me. And uh, I tell you, it was, that's the old man, old person. And uh, I know love, the love that I knew was very rough. My father used to smack me and I'd stand and look. My eyes used to look at him and he gets more angry. You look at me, you. <laughs> I got the horse pipe, the wood, and the spoon breaking down. Everything, man, everything coming. Anybody been hit by horse pipe? Yeah, olden time. The horse pipe, the spade, everything. You're going to get it. The broom. Yes, the broom. Not the bat, the bat. That time the broom was not the... Today the broom is done with the... It's in a rabbi. Eh? They make it with the rabbi. That time, no, only that side. Eh? Just, with the, just tie something and give it to you. But you know, it didn't make me disciplined. It made me rebellious inside. You know why? My nature was dead. Spiritually. So I don't remember much, but all I used to do is fight. I, I love to provoke the fights with people. And, and, and when I used to play soccer, I deliberately used to allow my foot to stem so people hit it there and, and they get the toe. You know, you have to break people's toe. I knew you had to do that. They'd ram them, let them hold the ball by purpose, let them hit it and get that toe. Because I used to play in the farm. You know, the farm, the land is never even. No, these soccer players only hire the hole. They don't know what I'm talking <laughs> No, no, no. I, I'm, I'm just playing, pulling on them. That's why I don't come. You know, the, it's not my... <laughs> they play soccer every Sunday or something like that. I just... They've been calling me, so I might just come one day. No, no, no. So, let's see. So, the, po the point is this. It's not about that. I... And I remember always taking a fight, punching people, pulling their shirts and breaking their uniform buttons and going to the principal. Uh, but that's only part of it. But there was so much hatred in my, my because I, I was not born again. You see, love comes when the Holy Spirit comes. People don't believe that I was rough. I had a long time also to renew my mind. I was not that nice too. But to, to apologize... I would die before I apologize. <laughs> you understand? That's how I was. If I done wrong, I did, I did it. You know, when I did wrong, I did it on purpose. You don't say, I'm a son. I'm not sorry. I wanted to hurt that boy. Yeah. Well, you know, you, the, it doesn't make sense to me. People say, you should get to say sorry. Why should I say sorry? I didn't do it by chance. I wanted to do it. I did it on purpose. What are you saying? Say sorry for that. You, you understand? So that's the wrong, that's the devilish way. So... <laughs> By God's grace, I went to church. God saved. I didn't mean, go to church. Actually, a pastor came and prayed, and I got healed. I couldn't believe he, he prayed, and I got healed. I mean, I was doing all this thing, and nothing was happening. He just came and said, in Jesus' name, be healed. And I didn't call him. My auntie from Australia, she was there. She said, pray for about there is And by then, I was doing all, my, all the things I know how to do. Go to the witch doctors. A couple of them gave him the murga also, but didn't work out. <laughs> he drank the surwa too. I didn't. And uh, so it didn't work out. But I was sitting there expecting God to heal me. Now I'm like, God, I'm a heal. And, and, and the healing didn't come. So I was all confused. I said, I, I must have missed some kind of ritual. So I'm sitting there. This pastor comes. He lays hands. You know, I, I tell you, devil makes you hate Christians. I laughed at them on their face. But in my heart, I didn't. I, I don't know. That's a devil's work. Because I, normally I, a human won't, won't hate them. I mean, did you know there's 149 Nigerian young boys in school who are in church school, Sunday school, they burned them down? But nobody talks on that, you know. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Anyway, 
Because see, I don't know why we believers should suffer and nobody talks about. Every day, Jewish people are bombarded. In, even in America, a synagogue, they, somebody just walked into the synagogue and, and just shot them. Hatred. You know what? The love of God is not in them. But if the love, anybody, I believe we should not hurt any innocent people. We are believers. We are supposed to be example of love. See, vengeance is not our work. Vengeance is God's work, man. Who are you to supposed to uh, fight and tell who, who should die, who should not die, who should be killed? See, I know most of you want some people in your life gone away. But it doesn't matter. You know, some people are very good for you. You know, some people in your life who are thorns in your life have been set up by God. Some people are sandpaper too. <laughs> some people in your life are rough sandpaper. Whatever that number is, there's, did you know that sandpaper has a number? <laughs> some people are sandpaper in your life. Every time you go, I don't like this one. <laughs> but, but, but let me tell you, you know why? Because that area of your life is also rough. That's why the more you rub against that person, the softer you become. You know, we think that's only a rap. I don't want to see them. But that person sits beside you at the office. That person is the boss over you. Hey, I don't want to take this thing, file to them. You have to, hello. But inside, no hello. You know, uh, you understand? You know why that, that person is there and you've been praying and God is not moving that person? Because you need that person. Some of you have wives that uh, you want replacement for? <laughs> You won't get it. <laughs> because they are there as sandpaper to make you smooth. To take away those rough edges. You know, I, I tell you, everything is purposed out. It's just been purposed out by God. You just have to choose by love. I mean, it's how you look. Again, if you bought a penis glass, that's why it's cheap. That's why you can't see nice things. It's tinted. You go to Prouts, buy a Ray-Ban. And then tell me. Don't bring a fake one and say this Ray-Ban from made in China. Okay? <laughs> That's the problem. You are watching with, you got the glasses on, but you are watching by tinted vision. By your feelings. See, by faith, you'll see goodness in people. Everybody seeing with their eyes. Adulta, look, she's, she comes straight from sinning. Hey, I tell you, you don't become too righteous because if you were there, you'd pick up a stone want to hurt her. Right or no? Because she was caught in adultery. Probably she was some of your family member too. Now you want to kill her. But Jesus didn't see like you see. He saw with the eye of love. She knew, he knew it was she had committed sin. But she said, daughter, come here. Where, where's the accusers? See, there will always be somebody who will say word to you. But Jesus never condemns us. He always tells you who you are. You are somebody nice in his presence. Amen. You are righteous. But by the blood of Jesus. Coming back to my story, I got saved. <laughs> Let me finish here. Praise God. But I don't know. It's something wrong with the time or something. There's something wrong somewhere. <laughs> Did you know more than 14 minutes have passed? I haven't started yet. <laughs> Praise God. No, 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 no. Praise God. Brother, you can come and play. But I just, come, come play. It's okay. If you want to bring your Bible and book, I don't know. If I start, I'll start, but I don't know. Just come up there. Remind me. Okay, so what happened? I, I, uh, this pastor prayed for me. I got healed. And I, I was just going like this. He prayed for me. I got healed. I've been doing all. I'm just thinking. He said, how you feel? I knew I was healed. I just said, Thora right here. I lied. I lied to him. I said, Thora right here. How can I tell him, Tum hatra kam right here? I can't tell that. I'm not a Christian. I don't go to church. And how come he's Jesus? He put his hand and I got healed. I don't want to say anything. And my uh, and uh, and you say, thora raite, thora raite. You, know, you know, when you are unsaved, you love lying, man. That's why a saved person should not lie. Because we are trusting you, you should not lie. You know, the, one of the worst things to do is lie. 
Because that goes against Jesus. Jesus is the truth, amen? amen. And we have truth in us. So I said, Torah writer. So he went away. I tell you, my mind started running like full swing. How can it be? I mean, I was doing, play brother, it's okay. I was doing chicken. I mean, giving rooster to this uh, witch doctor. I was chickening. That's what it was. I was chickening here, chickening there. And, and it wasn't happening. How many of you have a chicken? Tell the truth. Yes, I was chickening and it wasn't working. But praise God anyway. Jesus in it. So you know what I did? I didn't join the church. And the pastor met me on the road one day. I'll be right there. And he said something that shook me. He said, you ask Jesus to thank you. He said, I want to ask Jesus to thank you. Because he He somehow knew I was right, made right that day. I don't know how he knew. And he said that, so I went home and I thought about it. I said, yes, that Jesus, that, that God, Jesus healed me. Like I had many gods. I said, that God is good. Like if I, if I didn't know that time because had I went, I would have bought a cross and put it in my box too. Like all the gods there, Jesus God too. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Or oh, like this, this way. Okay. But I didn't know that. So I said, okay, I'll go to church on Sunday. Just thank him and come back. And then Friday, Monday, Tuesday, all those other things. And Thursday, they, we started a new thing there also. So for about four to six months, I was going ringa ringa rosy, pocket full of posy, you know. Eh? Go here, do this, go there, do this, and go. I mean, I was confused. Really, I was confused. Then within that time, a pastor, Pastor Jim Ethel came here. So he came, he brought a team, revival. So I was excited. Right, revival. I don't know what revival is. They said, we'll have a function now. Civic Center was a big thing. Anybody coming to Civic Center was a big thing. Like uh, anybody came to Subrail Park? Anybody knows LAB? LAB, there was, uh, at the time, the Subrail Park wasn't that big. So uh, th they, I saw one picture. Anybody saw that picture? Junior Mangal coming to Fiji? <laughs> Man, long time I've seen that name. So, I, I, how many of you know circus people used to come to Fiji? Yes. Long time, eh? It's been a long time. So they brought some animals, uh, the smelly elephant and everything, but it was there. So, so it's a big thing when there's a, like in the village areas like Lambasa, and there used to be any function. So I thought this would be a big thing. But I said, how will I go? Because I didn't want to go. Okay. So something inside said go. So I went. You know how I went? My shorts, my t-shirt, and my flip-flop. You know, the best thing you wear in Lambasa is flip-flop. So I went... <laughs> I said, I will just go and see. So I saw nobody's down there. It's only the, the, no, the ushers. Uh, hello. Uh, they said, hello. And then I went. They knew I was coming to church, but I was hiding sick church. Eh? Nobody knew in my, my Hindu people that I was going to church. And my church people didn't know I was going back to the Hindu stuff. So I was hiding sick too. I was playing two, three games, no? So I sat there and, and, and I sat right at the back. You know, if you've been to Civic Center, right at the back chair somewhere there, I'm looking, everybody praying and singing. So I, then the message started to be preached. So I heard. I tell you, I was caught. He was telling about Jesus. He was telling about, you know, Pastor Jim Heath, you know him, he's old now. But when he, used to, when he came there, he was fired up preacher. He had to tell about God. And the only way to heaven. He was an evangelist. So he started preaching. I got convicted. I said, I think I'm missing the mark. I think I'm lost. I, I mean, I'm thinking, I, I need Jesus. So he said, everybody put your hands, heads down. So I, I'm, I, I only know is everybody will put their heads down. But I don't know. Church people don't put their heads down. <laughs> I was very obedient. I put my heads down. Anybody who felt God speaking to them. Yes, I feel God speaking to me. I need my sins, God. So I felt bad. I knew I was playing hide and seek and Jesus was the true God. And I knew I was pleasing my family members. I knew I was pleasing uh, my, my father and the families because they will get angry. I knew I was pleasing the pastor but not believing Jesus. I knew I was playing God, you know. I, I said, yes. He said, put your hands up. And you know what? Church people were not down looking. They were up looking. They, and, and, said, and said, put hands down. I want everybody who put their hands up, come up. <laughs> Guess who was the only one who put his hands up? 
and everybody looked back. <laughs> but I tell you, it was so frightening. I, I tell you, I can feel it. It's not done like that. I said, why are they looking? Who else? I'm looking like who else? But I was the only one. But I tell you, I, I tell you, to this day, I, most people say, I don't know how I went in front. I tell you, I don't know how I went in front. <laughs> All I, the next part I knew, I was standing there with my flip-flop shorts and my t-shirt and crying. I was literally crying because I felt there was something I was missing. Because I always wanted to know God. I didn't want religion, you know, really. When I, I went, you don't understand, when I, I was seeking, I was hard. I was, I, you know, religion will make you hard. I used to be under the, uh, uh, I used to fast, long fast. Long fast. As, even as a young boy, I used to fast. I used to get up 4 o'clock in the morning to pray. Hindu prayers. I used to go to church, literally go to church, actually sit down in church and whatever they say, obey. Because I was religious, but without truth. That was law. But God came in His love. Melt my heart. I gave my life to Jesus. And that day when I went back, I never turned back. I never went back to my idol worship. I never went back to those. <laughs> I, I got a lot of persecution that I will not talk about, that, but that's part of your faith. My father got angry. My, the village people started. And not, it wasn't a village, it was a town actually. I was living next to the police, uh, uh, Northern Police uh, Headquarters. So they came and they started saying to my brother, and then I had every day I was hiding. Today, I to not like that. Every now and then, I used to get the growling. And I used to get the Sunday eyes. What do I do? I got up. I said, let them say whatever they have to say. They have to go to church. I started going to church. Didn't have a Bible. How many of you know there used to be some white people coming around and, and they used to give good news Bible to young children. And they came along and this is the first time they came to Lambasa and, and uh, that's where we were. And just right there, there was a playing place. And so we went there and they said, any young people who gave their life to Jesus? And they were just uh, shouting and just making skits, you know, that puppets. Anybody know puppet show? So I like the children's ministry because I, I love, I was part of those women. And, and I gave my life to Jesus. I was so excited. I needed to know God. My mind is still unrenewed, you know. I still very angry. I mean, if you understand. Because I'll be baptized I, I haven't changed. The word of God is not in my mind. So I'm hungry. I know I need more. I need to know Jesus. How do I know Jesus? I can't just sit home and say I know Jesus. No, I only know Bhagwan. I want to know Jesus. You understand that? See, whatever you say you know comes from what you learn. You don't do any learning, you don't do any renewing. So I got my Bible. I tell you, I took that good news Bible. Anybody know good news Bible in some of the places, there are pictures and all? I start reading that. Every day I was reading, anytime. The only book I read is the Bible. I never used to read the school book because I didn't like it. <laughs> so uh, I just read the Bible. Every time I read the Bible, every time I'm reading the Bible. But you know why that had to be me? Because my mind was not working. I told you before, I was like, if somebody was giving out the, the trophy of cuckoo, I was the bondu, I was it. I would win. Because my mind wasn't working. My, my, I, it just, my perception wouldn't come. Because there was no recreation. But when light came, when Jesus came, my mind started working. My thoughts started changing. Man, could, I, I understood one plus one was two. It's, equations became easy to me. And you know, the more I renew my mind today, the better I become. The more creative I become. I'm not perfected. I am still needing a lot of help. So people around me, God has put good people around me. They help me. And I'm a good learner. I, I'm not the one that will put my hand in the fire and find out the tower is grub. If, if sister has put the hand there and found a tower is grub, and she says, Brother Brian, mm -hmm, thank you. I'm not, put, I'm not putting my hand in the tower to find out. If somebody says, don't walk this road, brother, this will hurt you. Thank you for telling me I'm smart enough. I'm not going to go this road. I'll take another road. Amen. Praise the Lord. Renew your mind. Spend the time in the word of God. I tell you, my mind changed. I ask you something. I will, I'll just end here anyway. I'll just ask you something. How many hours or time do you spend actually reading God's word and then taking it and meditating on it? I wrote something this uh, 
Saturday the Lord gave to me. Anybody seen that one? You got Facebook? You don't have it here. Prayer alone reveals your absolute trust and faith in God. There is nothing in Christianity as a prayerless Christian. It came to my heart. I just wrote it down. Then I thought about it. I should make a picture. So, Brother Kunal, I was doing some artwork. So, I used the picture and just put that words there and I just sent it. So, you can't say, I'm a Christian and you don't pray. How can it be? How can you say you're a believer of Jesus and you don't renew your mind? You know, your only weakness is what you don't know. If you find out who you are, nothing can stop your progress. You know, Doreen and I always uh, talk and she always tells me that church people should be the richest, wealthiest, loving, truthful people in the earth. And not only one Jesus, he keeps telling me that. We should be like that. We should be like that. Not that I'm lying, but just we talk, we discuss, because we, we, we really want church people to be the like of the world. The lovers of the world. The forgivers of the world. I tell you, Jesus said, if I'm going to judge the world, and if I come to church and I have to judge my own people, you should be afraid. You understand that? Who are you? I'm the righteousness of God. I'm a lover. I'm a lover. What does that mean? No, your, your family might say, mm -hmm, don't confess, you are not a lover. I know they are saying you are not a lover, but keep confessing because very soon you will act like a lover. You will be a forgiver. Amen. You are blessed. I know right now your situation might be bad. It doesn't matter. David's situation was bad. He was running from his own family. Did you know when he was running and he had a, a what you call that? A reward. Wanted. David was a wanted man. Anybody know David in the Bible? He was a wanted man by Saul. And you know who was Saul? He was the king. For example, in Fiji, I mean the government is looking for you. Your face is always in the Fiji TV and Fiji 2 TV and all the TV and the newspaper. Think about it. You'll be afraid. And above that, they said, anybody who puts this person, gives the information about this person, $1 million. Woo! Everybody will leave work, look for you only. <laughs> right, man, Gide? I mean, million dollar, one shot, enough, man. But you know what? David was running. Exactly that's what happened to David. And his family members used to cheat and tell him and he used to run away at night. He just found out his uncle, his brother or somebody, his cousin betrayed him. And that's where he said, Lord, you alone are my security. You are my refuge. No evil will befall me. See, when he was saying those words, there was problems all around. But what was he saying? You, Lord, I put my trust. No one can harm me. When you are on my side, I can fight an army alone. Man, think about that. How was he looking at the problems? He was looking at how God was looking at it. When David was founded in front of this Goliath, he didn't go there to fight Goliath. He was just going, going there to give his brothers some bread and food. The father told him to go and give it to them. And so when he went to give them and he heard this Goliath, he said, who's this Goliath? Okay. See, he wasn't looking with the cheap pet his glass. Oh, yeah, he wasn't doing that. He just looked and said, is he a believer? Is he a believer? No. Then who is he before my God? He has no covenant. You understand what covenant means? God has sworn. You understand when you read the Bible? God has sworn. You know, God has sworn. Every word in this scripture is for you. And if you can believe it, it will come to pass. I tell you, let God be true and every man a liar. If God says, I will heal you, he has healed me. If God says you are blessed, you start saying, I'm blessed. If God says you are strong, you say, I'm strong. If God says you are in love, you say, I'm a lover. If God says you have peace, you say, I have the peace of God in my mind. You know why we are weak? No scriptural knowledge. No scripture makes faith weak, but faith scriptures scriptures of god's promises you keep it in your ah, that's why i wanted to ask you how many time today this week you spent reading the bible and learning the scriptures how many of you know uh, see the level the time you spend in your word and prayer is never wasted let me tell you where you are wasting your time you know that's all i want to say right now and i want to finish here you know where you waste it. See, if you're not reading the word and meditating and learning scriptures, you're wasting. You're not becoming smart. I tell you that. I'm a living testimony. I'm not lying to you. I'm not lying. See, with certain things, I might be weak. But with the wisdom of God, God made me wise. You got no idea. When, I, when I'm testifying, I was dumb. I really was dumb. 
you got no idea. I couldn't think right. I know what, what makes my mind think. The grace of God. Pastor said the prayer for the nation. You, you can't get that out of me. There's nothing in my ability. It came out of the spirit. That's why that prayer is spiritual. You know the love confession we do, it didn't come out of me. It came out of the spirit. Spiritual. Amen. We live. So how do you, how many of you want to change your life? You get back into the word of God. Renew your mind. Say what? See how God sees you. A conqueror. More than a conqueror. God sees you as, if I can get somebody and tell you, you know how God sees you? He sees you as Jesus. I mean, you want to hide Jesus? Who? Me? No, I'm not like Jesus. Don't ever shy away from what God sees you as. He sees Jesus, you as Jesus. But, 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 but Lord, I'm not holy. You are inside. Start confessing them on the outside. See, right now you are looking down at yourself and condemning yourself. Who told you to condemn yourself? The Bible says, this Christ died for you, who can condemn you? See, God loves you. He died for you. If you've received him, don't be ashamed to call yourself right. Don't be ashamed to call yourself strong. Don't be ashamed to call yourself holy in Christ Jesus. Not by your doings, but by him. Call the wisdom of God to manifest when there is problem. Hallelujah. See, you only claim what you don't have. Now listen to me carefully. As I finish and the rain starts getting heavy outside. There is a problem with the church is they start claiming things. You only claim what you don't have. You can't claim healing. You are healed. Why are you claiming healing? Tell your body, I am the healed. Come on, manifest healing. Tell your bones, be strong in the name of Jesus. Pray for the food. Don't be so greedy that you don't pray. When you eat your food, whether it be at home, whether it be at work, whether it be in the office, whether it be in McDonald's, or whether it be in a restaurant, whether it be in a mall restaurant, and everybody's looking at you. Uh, no. You open your mouth, Father, we thank you for this food. So, you know, at many times when it's a lot of people going around, I open my eyes and pray. I don't want any flies or anybody throwing anything there. So I open my eyes. No, Bible says watch and pray. <laughs> I watch my food, man. No one, somebody putting anything there. No, because people are, no, something can fly off their hand or some people are putting their sweat lab in. I have to watch my food. <laughs> Hallelujah. I am not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus. I mean, how many of you ever prayed for people in the streets? You should play for people in the streets. If you, uh, 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 I don't know, everybody is watching. Let them watch. Here, everybody, watch. Make a big scene. Come and watch what God is going to do. <laughs> See, you are made. The Bible says the righteous are bold. As a lion. Which lion went, tell me, which lion went to attack the, the, the prey and went like this? <laughs> I'm ashamed, I'm ashamed. No, the, the lion doesn't go like that. The lion comes up to let you know, I'm here. You know, I like that, the big, heavy beard out there. And um, yeah. Hallelujah. Recently, we've been watching this guy who, 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 you know, there's the pose of the line. If you press it, the, the clothes will come out like, I mean, I looked at that. And, you know, there's two sharp teeth. You can open it. In the front, it's normal, but at the side, there's the one they grip you with. I tell you, when you grip the word of God. Oh, man, you didn't understand what I just said. I mean, you, you grip the word of God. And you, and, and you know, when the, but I was looking at that, but I was looking in the spirit. When you hold to God, said, I'm healed. And, the, and when the line hooks, hooks the, uh, the, 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 the prey, or, or, or that, uh, the, those, what do you call that? The bull, buffaloes. Oh, no. When, when they grip it from the back, you know, they can shake, they will shake together. But, you know, I tell you, they hold, grip it, they lock it, and they lock it. And you hang them, and you shake them. Ah, they won't let go. I tell you, you get a hold of God, and I'm not going to let it go. And the devil will shake you, and he will jump. Let it jump, because I am healed by the stripe of Jesus. <laughs> Hallelujah. 
you know, that's how we hold. The promises of God are ours. The blessing is ours. Why are you looking? I'm, 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 I'm poor. My house is this big. Your house can be big as you can imagine. I'm, I'm saying this by faith. Your house, you can build by faith as a blueprint before you can have, actually have the finance to have it. Don't let go of your dream, man. I tell you, we, we can't get let go of our dream. I mean, you got to dream big. Hallelujah. We've been going to a few houses looking, just looking. We went, we're not making any commitment. I know that is beyond our budget, but we've been going some places. We've been looking. I, I tell you, in our mind, it would be like, you don't have money, why are you going there? I don't care. Because my wife has faith. <laughs> I'll be honest, she has faith. And she's got some faith working. I just follow her. Come on, Sister Dory, let's go. Uh, amen. No, I tell you, we've been looking because we're believing for a house. But see, you don't build a house by money. Church people build houses by faith. See, money will buy you ready-made. Faith will buy you your heart's desire. See, you don't get that. Amen. Faith will buy you your desire. So, so we've been going to some places. I mean, every one of that is one mill up. But we go and just have a look. Wow. They got this duplex. They walk through. Oh, all right. Very good. Very nice. Woo, this is beautiful. We come back and we go to the biggest plaza, the WG Plaza. We just go and look. Okay. That's very nice. Good, good, good. And see all the place. You know, what you say? What are you doing? Faithing. That's just letting faith walk, you know? You know, imaging. Imaging. You know what is Imaging. You want a vehicle, you don't know which model you want, you don't know which brand you want, you don't know how much fuel you want to spare. To... Come on now. See, if you don't calculate these things, you can have a big elephant in your house. <laughs> but let me tell you, you can't feed the elephant. It takes a lot of tons of food to feed the elephant. You understand? So don't say, I want a big, uh, big Mercedes. Yeah, you filling the fuel and getting one service, about $500 bill just to service that. <laughs> you see, that's not wisdom anyway, because in Fiji you don't need a Mercedes. Come on now, are you with me? Yeah. No, you don't need a bicycle either. <laughs> and there are crazy drivers out there, my brother. There's two things people in the road don't respect, they don't have any respect for, bicycle and motorcycles. The drivers with vehicles, they don't care about you. Even if you're like, I've seen, the, <laughs> except you're a police officer with a motorbike, they get slowed down behind you, you know? <laughs> but normally, they don't care. Have you seen that? And, and a person in the bicycle would be saying, I'm going like, I've seen these white people coming in the uh, bicycles. I've seen one guy was going, like, I was dropping the children. Every morning, he used to take a bicycle. After some time, I saw him going in a taxi. <laughs> I know, because some of the times, I thought he, somebody was about to bump him, but they, oh, I said, thank God he didn't get bumped. Because they're crazy out there. They need the love of God. Anyway, praise the Lord. <laughs> Hallelujah. You get something God speaking to you today? Yes. Amen. I pray that you get the lion story. Man, I got excited about the lion one. Grab it and hold it. Holding on to the promises of God with your life. That's your meat. What are you holding on to today? The word of God's promises. I am the head and not the tail. I'm above only and never beneath. I am out of debt and no, I am not going to live under the, the, the umbrella of debt. I mean, the world is selling debt and buying you off. I'm not buying that. You say, Brother Brian, then how are we going to build ourselves a house without debt? I told you, faith. See, most of you can't understand. Uh, your mind is going, huh? Faith, faith. Children of Israel, God says, I'm taking you to a land of milk and honey. Look, let me tell you, God says, I'll give you houses that you did not build. Yeah. Hmm. When does that work? When we get to heaven? <laughs> when there are already mansions up there? Come on, you've got no idea what God can do. Are you a giver? Stand upright and believe, I am blessed. I will never be broke another day in my life, in Jesus' name. Anybody in and mortgages, I tell you, start seeing yourself free. You know how... Your actions will reveal you, believe or not. You walk like you are free. You talk like you are free. You speak to your ground, it is free. You speak to your roof, you are free. You speak to your house, you are free. If you're staying in a house and that is a rented house, like we've been saying, we, we moved out of one rent place to another by saying we are changing our address. Now we're already saying in this place, we're changing our address. If we buy that place by the grace of God, if God wills, that's another thing, but we will still change our address. Because we're going to heaven anyway. <laughs> yes. 
But we're going to change our address. How? Faith. What are you doing? Are you crying over the problem? Or are you declaring faith? Are you declaring God's favor all your life? You know who you are? You're a child of the king. God is your father. Don't ever feel fatherless. God is my father. He watches over me. He will provide for me. How many problems are there in the world? My father has a father. Who is a friend for me. Who is a friend for me. And has given me his power. Today, he is my power and power. He is my power. He is my power. He is my love. He is my love. Today, I can also be able to sleep with my enemies. Because his love is with me. You walk in your house. You are the most loving, gentle person. No more person of hard words and rough words. No, just love. Why? Because you are not living by feelings. You live by faith. Empowered by love. <coughs> Hallelujah. Don't look at faults in people. You will find it very easily. Don't look at faults in people. You'll find it very easily. Look for goodness by your spirit. It's good in every person. Every person, there is something good. Amen. You know why? Because God put it there. You are good. Don't look at yourself, you are not good. You are good. 